Hey, we're at the Florida Boxing Hall of Fame Saturday the 22nd. There's a, this thing goes on to tomorrow the 23rd. Um, here I have the honor to be with Phyllis Gary, the ring announce, ring announce keeper. She's the whistle keeper, but she's going to tell us ourselves uh, uh, what she does. But, hey, congratulations and welcome back to a Florida Boxing Hall of Fame. Yeah, I became inducted in uh, 2020 at the end of the year because everything was so difficult. It was a difficult year. Anyway, I've been timekeeping since 1993. Prior to that, I was a judge for the state of Florida for five years. I worked the amateurs for 15 years, worked the Olympics in 1996. So this is, I run the show, I ring the bell, I blow the whistle, and I stop the clock. <laughs> so pretty much, I thought somebody else was in charge, but she's the one in charge. Now, Phyllis, um, now, it's the Olympics. You did, was the, that the Olympics here in 96 was in Atlanta? Nine, yes, in Atlanta, yeah, 96. I did, I, I was escorted, the only uh, uh, person down the ring was Antonio Tarver. Yeah, he got a bronze medal that year. Yes, and he's also uh, became a world champion, became the one to uh, give the first diminished to the great Roy Jones. And he also uh, retired um, Rocky <laughs> in the movie. It was a movie Rocky, yeah. And I've known Antonio since he was like 14. When he and uh, they used to box uh, amateurs. So I watched him watch his career. Well, I enjoyed it. So you did watch uh, from the amateur, and how was Antonio Tarver uh, as a as an athletic? You knew once he was getting to like that 12, 14, that this kid was special. I knew he was special. He and Roy Jones boxed and uh, together when they were 14 or 15. They were in the state in the state box at box offs. Now, um, who are you looking forward to to seeing? I know um, Clint. It's a, it's a shipment, and he's being elected, uh, Clint. Oh, yes, that would be good. I like this. This is a whole whole new phase of boxing going in. Yes, uh, and you work with him. You work right beside him. So, you know, who else are you uh, looking forward to? Um, that, uh, that oh, I enjoy all of them. I think it'll be a good class going in. Hey, last year was outstanding. We had Roy Jones go in there, and uh, there was a few... Um, I can't quite remember from actually from Pro Box, uh, but this is what this is about. I mean, everything you do, your whole career. Sometimes we we think it has no meaning. The money, oh, it doesn't feel like that. But when you get this kind of uh, award, um, this this where this sits as far as everything you accomplish when, when you're inducted into the Hall of Fame? You know, it's when, in, when the people that you've been working around decide you're good enough to be part of the program and part of the, the unity of the Boxing Hall of Fame. So it's, been, it's a good group. They've, they've had good choices, and I think this is another good class going in. So I'm looking forward to hearing all the speeches Sunday. <laughs> and bring some tissues, too. Right? Bring tissues. <laughs> And here we are with the one in charge, the ring announce, the ring keeper, the whistleblower. What else, guys? I ring the bell, I'll stop your clock. And pa' que sepa, Phyllis Garrett, class of 2020, Hall of Famer. Keep punching and God bless.